I'm hoping that maybe for the sake of the people that need their career jobs back to pay their mortgages, car payments, rent, and, and need those career jobs and get their health insurance back, that maybe people might consider giving them another chance with the clear understanding if they screw up again like this, they're never coming back. And you might be the guy that's able to bridge that gap maybe to give this company another chance and maybe give another look at it. And I, I know how much you offer from other companies. It wasn't about the money. Um, but yeah, everything's about the money, but it's not. So I hope for the workers that it works out for them because they were innocent victims in this and they're good people that need those jobs. So I'll give you the last word. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, that's what I say too. And, and it's about, uh, listen, like I said before, they run their business, they do their thing. Um, they, they do a lot of great things. They do a lot of great things. They employ 65,000 people in this country. They take care of farmers. Uh, and you, did you know that when there's big disasters, they shut the plant down and they turn it into a, a water bottling facility and they've they bottled like 100 million uh, bottles of water that they've sent out to disaster areas. This, I'm going to focus on the good that they do. We are very aligned in many different areas, and that's why they're going to be my partner for the next six years. UFC officials have announced a new sponsorship deal with Bud Light, reportedly worth more than $100 million. The multi-year sponsorship will see Bud Light become the official beer partner, and the beer giant's branding will have a heavy presence during fights and weigh-ins. It follows, though, months of controversy surrounding Bud Light that erupted earlier this year after it struck a partnership with transgender activist and TikTok celebrity Dylan Mulvaney. Make sure it matches. And I just want to show you this latest TikTok uh, or Insta post from Dylan Mulvaney uh, that, that gives you a suggestion, uh, a confirmation perhaps, that Bud Light didn't really pick the right personality. I live for the case, the case, the case, the case. The guys, the guys, the guys make me happy. I mean, what, I don't even know what that is, Nick, but I know it's not good for Bud Light and anybody else that is using her, him as an ambassador. Right. Uh, yeah, the interesting thing is, Chris, somebody must have sat around. There must have been a group of people sitting around the table in, in Anheuser-Busch Brewery saying, oh, what a great thing for Bud Light. Let's put Dylan Mulvaney on, on the can. Our, our drinkers will love that. You know, how out of touch can you be with your market and with mm. ordinary everyday people and the way they think? And I think it's interesting. This is where the woke thing is peeling away on this whole transgender stuff. You know, the, the, the climate change people will live with, but they just think this is just a step too far. The same of course happened to, to target billions worked off, off their market value because of it. The controversy saw sales plummet and sales of Bud Light are still sinking. According to data obtained by Beer Business Daily, volumes are down 30% year on year for four weeks until October 7. UFC CEO Dana White said in a statement, Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light were UFC's original beer sponsors more than 15 years ago. I'm proud to announce we are back in business together. There are many reasons why I chose to go with Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light, but most importantly, because I feel we are very aligned when it comes to our core values and what the UFC brand stands for. I'm looking forward to all the incredible things we will do in the years ahead. The sponsorship deal officially begins on January 1.